down. Never give up and sit down and grieve. Find another way, always. And don't pray when it rains if you don't pray when the sun shines. Boxing has changed me so much. I've learned perseverance mainly, to always push myself past my comfortable limits. It's hard to keep going even when your body is telling you to stop. Hi everyone, my name is John Caprio and my project is about boxing. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with boxing and how boxing has changed over time. I've been going to Title Boxing, located in Concord, New Hampshire, taking lessons, classes, doing freestyle. Boxing has been a conduit for getting my anger out, stress in school, work, and family matters. I found going into the classes, I've always had a pent up anger or emotions running through my head. I would use these to push myself each time and be able to finish my workout. At the end of the class, I would always feel accomplished and happy and I won't have any stress in my mind. Boxing has caused me to push my stamina, agility, and strength. How has boxing changed? Well, the better question would be, how has it not changed? There are so many aspects of boxing that have evolved with time. For some insight on the origins of boxing, it was first recorded in 3rd century BC in modern day Iraq. Generally, boxing has encompassed a sport that has been fighting using your fists with wrappings or gloves. Some cultures have tweaked gloves to be deadly using spikes or rocks. Nevertheless, boxing has been replaced by a new type of boxing. Some of the ways boxing has changed include the health of the fighters, equipment and technique in the media. In the early to late 1900s, heavyweight division was a huge fighting style that many people practice. People would often bulk up and get bigger um, so they could be the biggest in their division. Their diets were focused more on calorie intake than current day boxers that try and be lean and more agile and small. This division would later cease to exist because the huge guys would go to football or basketball where they could be paid more. They would have less risk of getting injured. The health of the participant is essential to know before the fight, since if he or she has a concussion, hemorrhage, or some other life-threatening problems, they need to be known before the fight, because otherwise they can die or get seriously injured. If not, uh, previously doctors would not have the medical technology that we have today, so they were limited in what they could learn from their condition. The equipment of boxing has changed. It has changed from the Romans using gloves that have spikes on them to fighting to the death with no rules. Since then, the community have changed rules and how boxing is to make things more safe. Nowadays, gloves are made of leather with multiple layers. In the bottom picture, you can see uh, sort of like wrappings. That's what the Greeks used uh, in the first uh, Greek Olympics for boxing. Uh, the picture to the right is more of like what we use now for gloves. And bef to the left is what the Romans used when they would fight in gladiator matches. Media has changed boxing. They are the reason that boxing has gone so bigger and why it's so publicized. They are the reason why so many fights now are so hyped up. Online trash talking, for example, is something that we like to see because it excites us, draws more attention to it. This is one tool that we have now, before they didn't have effective methods like this. An article online comments by saying, for the future of boxing, with the rise of the internet, we are now seeing boxers promote themselves more online, while pay-per-view watching is now going online also. 
I'm so happy that I decided to pursue this. I've enjoyed every moment of this. Working it has made me feel so much better about myself. I've learned so much about the sport, meeting new people along the way, and challenging myself. In conclusion, I want you to remember this from my presentation. And as a life lesson, try something new, like working out a sport, or in my case, boxing. And if you enjoy it, do it harder and harder, and push yourself more each time. Because in the end, you'll appreciate what you've done. I'll end with a quote from JFK. Efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. Thank you for listening. Are there any questions? I will. Any more? All right. Thank you. I have a question. Oh, yes. During your training, were you ever knocked out? Or did you see someone get knocked out? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it was were pretty you cool. Out? No, I wasn't knocked out, but I saw someone get knocked out. <laughs> yeah, still. All right. Thank you.